Hi, I'm Anna Denton-Jones of Refreshing Law and in today's session I'm going to talk to you about a case that caught my eye because of the amount of money that the employee had been awarded. It was an award of £190,000 which basically represented uh, the amount of money that the person would have earned up until the time that they had retired. The case uh, involved a primary school head teacher but the principles in it are universal. It seems like a classic case of perhaps somebody being promoted out of their comfort zone into a position where they started to struggle. Although the particular lady concerned had been in post for a five year period before problems um, started to emerge. One of the lessons from the case that is universal for everybody is around when somebody is promoted, but also just generally indeed in respect of any job, how important it is to have a job description and for there to be clear written down um, expectations by the employer as to what it is they expect the particular employee to be achieving so that if there are ever any issues you've got that benchmark to manage against uh, and so when you are claiming that there is some kind of poor performance you're able to measure against that yardstick and be saying because this is not being achieved um, you may want to have the equivalent of a probationary period with somebody if they are stepping up into a different role. Uh, it wouldn't be a probationary period in the usual sense of perhaps enabling us to give somebody a shorter um, notice period or perhaps dispense with their services quite quickly because somebody perhaps who's been promoted long service already, we're, we're well into unfair dismissal territory and the requirement to follow certain procedures in order to achieve a fair dismissal uh, if we went down that road. But the advantage of somebody understanding that they need to prove themselves in a particular position is useful. It's that management of expectations. Often what happens in these kind of cases, and this is the sort of classic pattern, if you like, that I would see crossing my desk would be that in the absence of any clarity about uh, what the role involves, it becomes a lot harder for those who are trying to manage to, when they start criticising performance, you can get to a position where the person in the job position starts to feel bullied um, and then there's some kind of a health breakdown. In this particular case, it happened to be the lady's blood pressure. My second lesson from this case is around managing the health position. So yes, there may be a history of things going in the wrong direction from a performance perspective. But as soon as we add health problems into the mix, I think the thing to do is to focus on those health problems. So let's get the employee to occupational health. Let's find out what they recommend can be done to support that person in the workplace. Let's try those things. We may well be skeptical about whether or not they're gonna work, but let's give it a whirl and as part of then planning any return to work, any phasing back into work, that can become our new baseline to be able to performance manage if there are issues again in the future. So let's set out what all of that looks like. Looks like. And if there is then a further problem, then we've got something to go back and um, manage against. Otherwise, there's a big risk that we get into the territory which enabled the judge to find there was a constructive unfair dismissal in this case of um, it being seen as a threat to the individual if we're saying to them, 
if you come back to work, there are going to be performance management actions taken against you. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.